one Keith Fraser, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife? I will. Sarah Patricia Schroeder, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? I will. I, Owen, take you, Sarah, to be my wedded wife. I, Sarah, take you, Owen, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death parts us. According to God's holy will. And I pledge you my faithfulness. And I pledge you my faithfulness. Mr. and Mrs. Owen and Sarah Fraser. Sarah and Owen, as the two of you embark on your life together as husband and wife, I wish you both happiness and peace. May you never go to bed angry. And may you begin each day with my love. Just have happiness and fun and make the best out of the worst. I'd like to point out how beautiful Sarah looks today. <laughs> Owen, I'm surprised. You don't look so bad yourself. <laughs> One of the first stories I heard of Sarah was when she wiped mustard off Owen's face at the Cobbin Fair. One evening we were driving when his steering rod came loose and I was able to stop and fix it. Later, the taillights fell off. For most of her younger years, she would ask me to tell her that story of steering road with lights fell off. Then she would open her mouth and let me brush her teeth. <laughs> so Owen, if she doesn't brush her teeth. <laughs> Your mom and dad had said, oh, it's been a part of your family for a long time. Very long time. <laughs> Ten years to be exact, you've been part of ours. We just made it official official today, I guess. Uh, I'm happy that, uh, I'm so thankful that you love our son. And hope you have a really good life. I'd like to say a quick thank you to Stephanie and David and Ray, Ellen, and Bernard for raising these two amazing people who couldn't be more perfect for each other. Because where there's love, there is life, and Sarah and Owen are creating the most beautiful life of all. As you all can see, there's an empty seat over there tonight. An empty spot in the room and our hearts. 
but I know that Cole's with us all day today. And he's sitting there right now. I'm still shocked that, that Bud Light's still full and not 15 others piled up there. With that, I'd like to do a toast to Cole, a great friend and a great person. Owen, I'm afraid your Sitka spending may be coming to an end. Unless there's a profit to be made. Right. So, Owen and Sarah, there's one thing that's not coming to an end is your love for each other. So cheers and let's party. To my husband, that cute brown-eyed boy with the camo hat on at the Cobham Fair with mustard on his face. <laughs> it's about frickin' time we tied the knot. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like yesterday you got down on one knee asking me to be your wife. You look so handsome today, as always. I can't wait to see what our future holds other than hunting and fishing. <laughs> I'm so proud of the man you've grown into and all your accomplishments. I love you. Sarah, my beautiful wife. I guess it's actually official now. Wife. You look absolutely amazing more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. Thanks for everything. I love you.